In 2017, we saw massive ransomware attacks targeting corporate systems. In 2018, IoT is the next target. Caleb Barlow, VP of Threat Intelligence at IBM Security. What are the consequences of IoT-based ransomware attacks? Well, you know, one of the things we have to keep in mind is that we have computers now in everything from our dishwasher to our cell phone to our car. And as we enter 2018, one of the things we're likely to see is those IoT devices actually be locked up by ransomware. So, hey, you know, I mean, on a somewhat, you know, unsophisticated level, hey, your dishwasher stopped working, you're going to have to pay five bitcoins to unlock it. Obviously, it gets a little more interesting and nefarious if we start talking about things like a car or something involved in a life safety system or a manufacturing environment. But these devices, generally speaking, are often highly vulnerable. Uh, the more and more information is out there in the community on how to exploit those vulnerabilities. And we suspect next year we'll start to see some larger scale attacks in the IoT space. What can IoT administrators do to, if not entirely remove the threat, at least reduce the harm caused by IoT-based attacks? Well, I think one of the biggest things we've got to do as system administrators is make sure we understand the inventory of where these IoT devices are, of what they're connected to, and how to update them. You know, anything that connects to the internet at this point, whether we're talking about a baby monitor or a fire alarm or an industrial pump, if it connects to the internet, we need a way to update it in real time over the wire. And if we don't have that, we really should question whether, why we should use it.